friends, welcome to another episode of Smart Drive. Android Auto seems to be a very interesting topic for all our viewers and subscribers. So let's head on to the calling functions of Android Auto. To gain a full control of Android Auto, you need to have an original cable for a data transfer and it should be plugged to the USB port of a multimedia player. As we have discussed in the previous episode, Android Auto fetches all the data from your mobile. So it needs few permissions as well as uh, periodical updates. After connecting Android phone, you have this home screen. As you can see, there is a weather update as well as a contact update. To access the calls, you need to press this button. Here you do have few favorite contacts like as you can see the stars over here and some frequently called contacts you can also have their multiple numbers in the contact list first to start with the dialer we do have dialer over here but as like our phone it will not suggest any contacts related to these numbers so dialer is not preferred for me for the daily usage Moving further, we do have a menu over here. So, dialer we have already seen. We can have a call history. So, this is a very good function. We can have a proper list of a called numbers. And we also do have some missed call alerts over here. So, we can directly call to them. So, this is very nice feature for calling only. What is really missing in this is like you can't search any contact to dial with. As I long press the 7, I was expecting P, Q, R, S or something. But I can't have any alphabets in the dialer number and it is not suggesting me anyone. Moving forward, we do have voice commands. To activate the voice command for Android Auto, you need to long press this button. So let's try out to call someone with the voice command function call wonder stars sure but when it's safe you'll need to disconnect your phone from the car and tap the notification then you can let google access the contacts on your device as per the commands i have disconnected and now this uh, notification i'm just clicking this notification it is saying me that it will try to get some information like battery life and all and you can have a clear update here call wonder stars calling wonder stars mobile So as you can see, there is no update on the mobile display. It has been called to under stars, but there was no notification or any display flash on the mobile display. So it is totally safe to use Android Auto every time because you will not be distracted by your mobile. Now let's try some difficult names. Call Gaikwad Dada. Homer Mobile. Let's have some Not another name. Call Akshay Zadhav. Choose from the following list. Number one nine six six three four one eight or number two plus nine one seven seven five seven eight eight. Number one. Calling Akshay Jadav mobile. Okay, this time it got properly. But as you can see, it's a little bit uh, clumsy than what you expect because in normal infotainment system, you can have a proper click over here and the numbers are shown over here. But in Android Auto, 
there were no numbers showing on the screen so it is little bit confusing during the selection of multiple numbers or the proper contact is selected or not let's have a quick comparison with our infotainment system every time this happens that i am not getting a proper results during the calling function of android auto what i prefer is to use the basic infotainment system and the contacts are synced properly that's why it is giving a best results on voice commands also what should i do is to just come out of the android auto function that is to press the home button and now just press the command Please button once command. call gaikwad dada gaikwad dada is that right as you can see it has given me a lots of names and numbers and you can have a proper sorting out of it so it is very preferred to use this infotainment system calling function rather than to go for the android auto as you can there see multiple numbers for so i can calling. tap so this is uh, one of the advantages that whenever you are calling from your infotainment system but during the call itself it will go with the android auto so it is a good function and you have a win win situation over here so that was all about the android auto calling functions that's not enough please watch the next episode for the navigation system in android auto